Hello, and welcome to my updated hacking guide for Cyberpunk 27. As CG Project Red made some changes to the hacking minigame, my old hacking guides are a little out of date, so uh, I guess I'm back. Uh, this guide will describe the types of hacks present in Cyberpunk 27, along with the basic guide of how to navigate the hacking minigame. So uh, yeah, let's jump right on into it. So the types of hacks you can perform in Cyberpunk are breach protocol hacks, access point hacks, and shard hacks. In the breach protocol hacks, you're either hacking technology such as cameras, uh, floodlights, or people, and these are performed uh, or started by your scanner. These, uh, or the breach protocol hack, lowers the quick hack cost, so these are primarily combat-driven and stealth-driven hacks you can do, and these are always randomized. Uh, access point hacks are where you walk up to a panel and you jack in, and these give crafting or financial rewards to players, and these are also randomized. Lastly, there are shards, which you can do once you obtain a shard that can be hacked. You access the shard in your inventory, and these will change dialogue options and quest outcomes. And these hacks are static, so you can always go back and uh, correct the way you do the hack if you want to improve on your hacks after reloading a save. So as I mentioned, breach protocol hacks occur when you pull up your scanning menu and maybe you're off to fight some gang members or something. And this hack, if you click here after scanning down a person, will open up this menu. Um, I've seen uh, that this can vary and that the table is randomized. And as you can see, the rewards are uh, combat and stealth driven. So this will reduce quick hacks, quick hacks cost and the camera shutdown will provide stealth benefits. Um, the, it, stay, it still follows the same protocols for uh, proceeding through a hack. You have to pick something from the first row and then follow it up with something in the next column. So in this case, if you wanted to do this 555555, because there's no overlap here, you could go do, do, do. Or if you wanted 1CBD, you could just go 1CBD. And you, there's no overlap here, so it's impossible to get both of them. Next, we have the access points. And so here you can see that this person has found an access point using their scanner and they have to walk up to it to plug in and start the hack. So they walk up to it, they get this option and they click this. Again, you get taken to this menu. And what happens here is again, the table is randomized. I think I've seen this varied in terms of the length of the buffer you have. And here are your rewards. So this is Euro dollars components for uh, building hacking things. In this case, I also don't think there's sufficient overlap to do anything here. So if you wanted to do this longer hack, which is 551C5555, you'd go here, 551C551C, because it's row, column, row, column, uh, given what you previously selected. If you have questions about how that works, go see my basic hacking guide, as it mostly applies apart from the basic access points I make. All right, next we have the shard hacks, which you access by going into your menu. You see journal here, you go down to shards, select it. Then you go to the shard and you go up to this crack security option. Now here, the buffer is static, the table is static, and the, the outcomes are always static. So you proceed through the hack the same way, but um, I would always recommend saving before you go to do one of these hacks and just see my other guys like the advanced guys for really how to figure out what the best pathway through the hack is. These provide uh, changes to dialogue options and quest outcomes in the game. So uh, really think about what is going to happen as a result of you doing these types of hack on these things. Um, I won't spoil anything, but if you do want to know the best solution to this hack, uh, stick around. Um, if you found this video difficult to follow, uh, please see my basic hacking guide video, um, or just tell me that my, my video is shit and roast me in the comment section below. Um, but take care everyone that doesn't want the solution, but for those who want, I'm just going to wait two seconds and then go to it. All right. So the key insight here is that the 5.5 five of the end of copy malware also is the start of neutralized malware. So if you do this one first and then go into this one, you can share the 5.5 and fit both codes in the six uh, input spaces. So this BD doesn't work as a starting point because once you get to the second BD and the FF here, there's uh, there's nowhere you to go after this 5.5. There's no more 1C in this row. So if you can imagine going BD, BD, 
then you have to go to this FF, then you have to go to this 5.5, there's no 1C for you to continue the hack. So you go to the other BD in the top row, which is this one, down to this BD, over to the FF, up to this 5.5, over the 1C, and down to the E9. So that's the best solution. Um, in any case, have a good one, everyone, and uh, take care and enjoy the game.